Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam and this is the Subscriber Sunday video where I put up photos that subscribers have sent in. And this week we actually had four people send in photos. So thank you very much for that. We've gone from one to two to four. Uh, thank you very much. If you have pictures that you're proud of from your yard or flowers or trees that you may want to identify or whatever, something in your community, you can send them to this email address. I'll work them into the Subscriber Sunday video. So thank you very much for that. The photos and videos that I have from this week are actually from the Blue Ridge Mountains. I'll put those up and then I'll put up the uh, Subscriber Sunday photos after that. But first I wanted to talk about something that's probably the most often asked question I get on this channel, which is the when to plant question. So I wanted to kind of address that. For the most part, I actually say plant when you're motivated to do it. Don't wait for the stars to align. If you're available on a certain weekend, whether it be hot or cold or whatever, get out and do it. Um, it's, it's fun, it's motivating, it's rewarding more than anything else to accomplish a task in the yard or in the community or in some sort of garden someplace. It's very, very rewarding. So, But there are rules that apply to planting as well. Uh, obviously, all, almost all annuals, things that flower at a certain time or vegetables would fall into that annual category, you really need to get with your county extension agent and you can typically get a piece of paper that has all the dates to put in all the different vegetables for your area. And those are very important to follow. You won't be able to plant lettuce when it's 100 degrees outside. It's just not going to work very well. So there are basic things like that to follow. I don't like planting herbaceous perennials in the late fall and winter. Uh, I just never have. I'm sure there's some growers out there that won't like me saying this a whole lot, but things like black-eyed Susans or cone flowers that come up in the spring and they bloom during the summer and then they go dormant. When they go back to dormancy in the fall, I really don't like to plant them at that time. I don't have a lot of success with them coming back if they're not established in the ground when they go dormant. So I like to plant those things in the spring or the early summer. And then of course there's area specific planting issues. Like if you live in zone two, three, four, five, and the ground freezes solid, obviously you're not gonna be planting in that. And if you could plant in that, the water's locked up in ice and the plant's not gonna be able to get water very well. So it's just not a very good idea to be planting in the peak of the winter. So, you know, spring and summer is gonna be the time where you're gonna be planting in those areas. Folks from zone six, especially 6B down to 11, uh, I just think that plant trees and shrubs when you're available to do it, when you're motivated to get out and do it. I put up a summer planting video a week or so ago. I'll link it right here. Uh, follow those instructions on cutting things back a little bit. I'll typically take the flowers off of plants when I put them in the ground. I know that people don't want to do that sometimes, but it is the best way to do it. Another group of people that may have a time where they're not going to want to plant would be people that live in the desert environments where in the peak summer months, it may be 120 plus. You're just not going to want to be out in that and uh, the plants probably aren't going to like that very much going in the ground in that kind of heat. So your, your planting season is going to switch to fall and winter and probably early spring. But for the vast majority of people that live in the United States where the ground doesn't freeze in the peak of winter, go and do these things in your yard and start on these projects when it hits you. Just get out, get started on it. And it's so rewarding to get moving forward on it, even if it's just one piece at the time. So thank you for watching. And here is some video and photos that I shot this week. And then the subscriber Sunday photos after that.